as a continuation of our 306090 problems here. On the first two examples, I started off that we were given the shorter leg. Let's say we're not given the shorter leg. Let's say we're given the longer leg. And, and we'll make it uh, four square roots of three. Okay, so now we're going to work a little bit backwards here. We know that the long leg is the square root of 3 times n. If you look at this and you substitute in and say that the square root of 3 times n is equal to 4 square roots of 3, if I solve this by dividing both sides by the square root of 3, I know that n has to be 4. So n, or 1n, is the short leg, which is 4. Therefore, the hypotenuse, since the short leg is 1n, the hypotenuse is 2n, the hypotenuse has to be 8. Now, let's say that we start with the hypotenuse, and we'll make the hypotenuse 16. If you start with the hypotenuse, then you know that this hypotenuse is equal to 2n by this initial triangle right up here. 2n is hypotenuse. So in this case, 2n equals 16. If I solve this for n, I divide both sides by 2, n is 8. So the 1n is 8, and then I know that my longer leg is 8 times the square root of 3 or 8 square roots of 3. Now, you will end up with some problems that might have a little bit different answer for you, and a lot of them deal with having something other than a nice square root for the longer leg. So, for example, let's say that the longer leg is 7. Okay, again, let's do the same thing here. You know that the longer leg, according to our equation, is n times the square root of 3, or the square root of 3 times n. And in this case, that is 7. So I'm going to divide by the square root of 3. So I have, when the square root of 3 cancels out, n is 7 over the square root of 3. So to make this a little bit easier to see here, that's the short leg, <clears throat> 7 over the square root of 3. If we rationalize 7 over the square root of 3, let's do that right down here. I will multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. And I get 7 square roots of 3 over 3. This really is the short leg right here that is simplified. And then again, since you have the shorter leg is 1n, the longer leg will be 2 times that. So this long leg right in here will be 2 times 7 square roots of 3 over 3 and I just multiply straight across, and I will get 2 times 7 is 14, square roots of 3 over 3 for that hypotenuse.